Hey guys, it's Josh, or, you know, Barry Snipes here with another, well not another, but first video, I guess. And, um, I was scrolling on Facebook, and I saw MapleStory had a new update called, um, the Athenium, Athenium update or whatever, and I guess it was Cannoneer and Dual Blade revamp. And I guess I just hopped on my Cannoneer just to see what's up. And I'm going to show you guys some of the skills, I guess. Okay, so, first skill we have, oops, I fell. Uh, first skill we have here is um, Cannon Blaster. And, uh, I don't know if they changed the animation. I don't think they did, but, I don't know, who cares, it's still cool. And, God. Oh yeah, and Cannoneer's got a flash jump. It's called monkey push. Pretty cool. Um, it makes a monkey sound, I guess. Kind of creative. Yeah. I like it. Um, next skill is cannon strike. Uh, same city attack, I guess. Pretty useless. And as well, we have back blast. Pretty basic. It was the the flash jump before. Yeah, it was horrible getting around. Cannoneers were very slow. Um, off the second job we have what? Scatter shot. And um, I think they did change the animation for scatter shot, cause last time I played my cannoneer, way different. Um, barrel bomb, pretty same thing. Just about the same as before. Uh, cannon booster. Mm, I guess it's the same. Well, it has a it's actually a barrel symbol, which is pretty cool. Mm, next skill is monkey magic. Uh, pretty basic, same. Uh, critical fire. Yeah, I guess it stay the same. Cannon mastery. Uh, uh, pirate training. All the same. Um, third job. Uh, they have cannon spike. Um, I guess it's a new animation. Which is pretty awesome in my opinion. It looks better than before. It was just like, before it was just like a random spike coming out. And it didn't really make much sense because it's a cannoneer. It's supposed to shoot bombs and stuff and, yeah, you know. And... Mm, the new, the new, um, I guess we got a new attack. It's, they showed it on a video, um, on their website, or, yeah, on their website. And basically what it does is, it bounces around and does damage, and after that it, it just explodes everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And monkey wave, it's the same, you have to charge it, I guess. Yep, still have to try it. Pretty okay. Uh, cannon jump, same crap. Um, barrel roulette, look at the dice. Reinforced cannon. Yeah, pretty basic. Um, cannon bazooka got a new animation. Uh, I accidentally pressed it earlier, so I'm pretty got sure you guys saw it. So, here it is again. Pretty cool. Like a, I actually like it better than the beam because the beam was like, I don't know, it didn't really make sense with the cannoneer class. But this is more appealing to the eyes, I guess. You know, destructive pyros, whatever. And here's cannon barrage, and I think cannon barrage got a actual a damage, like the damage was increased and. The critical rate and ignore defense was added. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but here it is. And again, it's pretty cool. It looks better than before. It's just the same. It's about the same, but the colors are more dark red and black. It you know, gives it a nice little. Well, again, it's appealing to the eye, so I like it. Uh, we have anchors away. Same basic skill. Just sucks all the monsters. 
That's what she said. Uh, monkey militia to summon little henchmen to attack and whatnot. And man, I know I'm gonna lag when I use this skill, but here it is. It's the same same skill. Nothing too much. And pirate spirit. And same thing. Maple warrior. Same cannon overload. Uh, Mega monkey magic. Double down. Now, the new thing that I did like is that before for your hyper skill, um, rolling rainbow. Before you had to hold it down, you had to hold it down, and it was a like a held down skill. But now all you have to do is like just tap it once, and you can move around and still attack, which is you know I think it's pretty cool. Rather than holding it down, because sometimes I would hold it down and I would let go and I'd be really pissed. Because I would have to wait until the cooldown. I would have to wait for the cooldown on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Cannon Air update. Well, not update. Really. It's a mini revamp, basically just... It wasn't like a full rap revamp, but... It was just um, the visuals of the Kenner, I suppose. It wasn't too much of a damage update or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty fun class. I mean, I played it for a while. It was like actually one of the first class that I actually liked when I when I came back, cause I quit Maple Story around the time that. I don't know. I think it was the Aaron when the Aaron came out, and I rejoined. Um, I rejoined during uh, the Tempest update. I think I don't. I don't remember. Or the Legend update. I I don't know. No, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron was part of the Legend update. I'm sorry. I mean, Cannoneer. I think Cannoneer came out too. I don't remember too well. I haven't played Maple Story in a while, so it's been a very long time since I got back on. Um, well, I guess that wraps up this video. Um, hope you guys stay around um, for new releases. I'll try to put out videos. You know, this is my first first ep my first video, so uh, you know I'm kind of nervous and you know kind of tongue twisted, I guess. But uh, I hope as we go along, I get better talking to you guys and whatnot. But yeah, I guess that wraps it up.